Our 80-day journey around the world begins in New York City on January the 17th. The New York Post heralded the morning with headlines proclaiming it to be the coldest day of the century. New York is locked in a deep freeze of Arctic air and swirling snow and howling wind. And on the banks of the Hudson River, majestically moored to her frozen berth, is the city of the sea, our home for the next 80 days, the Queen Elizabeth II. She stands silent as the ice flows move upstream on the ocean tide. And by the end of the day, she will be completely frozen to the pier, and the tugs will have to cut her free to send her on her way. But in spite of the record cold, the pier is bustling with activity today as longshoremen load her hold with enough stores to last for 80 days at sea. There's a great sense of excitement here, for this entire ship must be fully loaded and stocked before sailing time at 4.45 this afternoon. John Bainbridge, executive chef, is inspecting steaks that are a part of a meat order that total over $1 million. Tons of potatoes, flour, sugar, caviar, musical instruments, show costumes, everything from tissue paper to sterling silver is loaded in quantities that stagger the imagination. And while the lower pier rattles with the sound of trucks, the upper pier is filled with arriving limousines, tons of baggage, and excited passengers, each with a passport, a ticket, and dreams of anticipation. Inside the embarkation hall, there is magic in the air. 1,500 people from the four corners of the globe have gathered here in New York City to board this great ship for the cruise of a lifetime, an experience that will be filled with surprises, glamour, and discovery that only a world cruise on a great ship like the QE2 can possibly provide. The palm line red carpet tells us that we are leaving one world and joining another, a world that exists only on the high seas. And so let's prepare to embark on the greatest trip of all time. For what lies ahead is not only a great ship and a great adventure, but the very world itself. 